<laughs> okay. Uh, so I put up this morning, um, my cousin Claudia, she has a PhD. Oh, she's got a lot of friends that are PhDs, whatever, nobody cares. Um, they have a whole group, whatever. They, I mean, they're intelligent people. They're asked to write papers and do all sorts of things, keep them busy and occupied. Great, that's their antenna network of humanness. And, I mean, I call you shitbags because, listen, you got shit in your gut somewhere, you're a shitbag. Because it's either that or I call you an antenna, but then you get confused with, like, the metallic metallurgy ante antennas. And for me, you're all one and the same. Um, okay, so now um, I've got uh, Cousin Ken out on the West Coast of whatever land mass this is. I'm not giving it a patriot name. Um, I live on the East Atlantic coast of um, East Atlant uh, East Eastern Athletic Association, right? I'm still on East Atlantic coast um, where I've got a capital somewhere. So um, through however it works at um, Not Human, um, and I don't work off of your whatevers, um, since I was age four, Soviet, Soviet size four, I've been trying to get Crimea River to tunnel me a safety net so I could walk on water across to their cry meals, <laughs> like really important people, right, yeah, exactly, so this way, or criminals, I don't know, whatever, because the ones on this side of the ocean, not so smart, uh, they're like, no, criminals, Nicole, we put them in handcuffs and we take them to a jail cell, I'm like, no, that's what the Chinese have done to me in this life so far, and you're making it really difficult with the language you use when you talk to the other antennas across the water and try to be helpful. I was like, they've infiltrated your lands, and you are so inept to even recognize it, human. Um, all right, so and the longer this goes, the more they're going to play from outside rim elsewhere, and really mess up the categorical, it's going to become categories. Um, all right, so now, listen, I am the great ape's cape. There's a great ape, G-R-E-A-T-A-P-E. -E. I think he might be working hard labor having to speak to humans in, like, the UK... Criminals or criminals? Either way, he's working hard labor. That's my flat. That's where I want to go. Uh, I really don't like you soft serve ice cream melt in the cone kind of humans who do nothing absolutely but confuse and anger the hard labor workers over there. Right, yeah, it's like moving fucking stones from one pile to the next, having to talk to you humans. It's like, okay, do we get this one? Okay, move that one over there. All right, we got it for five minutes. All right, let's see if this one lasts. All right, I'm going to explain to you. You got it? Oh, my God, it's another stone. It's like, this is like the longest fucking process ever, trying to get a couple of flesh big antennas to, like, do the right thing. I mean, there's way more efficient ways. Here's the thing, humans. Um, if everybody is rational, <gasps> this is my ratio, this is your ratio, this is your ratio, this is your ratio, yay, we got a ratio! And it's not working in the ratio you set up for yourselves. <laughs> right, oh my god, it's like the criminals are the people that are like, uh, right, we're the irrationals, right, we come from outer space, yeah, <laughs> we don't work off of your antenna, whatever. Uh, we notice, <laughs> right, usually we're at, like, higher criminal level, we don't even talk to the ratio kids, like, it's just asking for trouble. Oh, but I've been stuck in ratio rubbing elbows going, please don't touch me. Right, so why am I being punished when I'm an irrational? I like being irrational because I know you guys are fucking retarded. And you don't get anything done, but you sure love telling each other just how special you all are. Yes, you are. 
I need to go to irrational hard labor elsewhere, please. I don't like your soft serve melted ice cream plan. Doesn't work for me. Um, alright, so let's think about this. Um, uh, that's, I think, Keegan, K-E-E-G-A-N, over in Eastern Athletic, smart, tall, and, like, size of a Clivesdale, since ox is a problem, and I would never, oh, no, oh, no, go in there. Um, all right, uh, let's think about this. Um, all right, great ape, right, I'm his cape, C-A-P-E. Um, all right, if I'm him, his chicken... Right, I'm his caper then. If he's my chicken, then I'm his caper. However that works out. Um, here's the thing. When I was little, I have a phenotype serial number. For sure. It's my stock. It's my breed. It's my number. And I uh, purposely put it on. I told you humans, you're not allowed to have one until I am safely delivered disease-free over to uh, my great ape. And out of harm's way in soft serve ice cream. Um, and here we are in, I've had uh, skull crushed in because of grid problems, grid lock problems, right? You've given me something called an HPV. First you called it an STD, then you called it an STI, then you called it a war, t W A R. And a T. Yeah, no fucking shit, Sherlock. You left me in fucking war territory. It's gonna cause a lot of fucking problems around the fucking planet. And in everybody's gridding and timing system. So now, what did you think? Like, I don't... I didn't approve getting this wart thing. But it's really plaguing the integrity of my epidermis. You know, like, for real, on my shitbag uniform... I've got a uh, wart, a, I think it's wart, I don't know. It's something to do with the HPV at the, that's the top, like, three letters that they gave, uh, like, capsid lock at CDC level um, for my pheno serial number. They're not allowed to do that. And only my hard labor great ape is allowed to know my serial number by his eyes. Anybody else looks at it, touches it, whatever. They die. It, it, like that quick. Because you cannot compromise that level of security. You have no benchmark. You have no safety net after that. Um, so here we are. And I need to get back to Great Ape. Um, I need my Great Ape in Keegan Vlad territory for his size Soviet. Now that I'm a five foot six woman. That's my height. My that's how tall I am, right? I know you guys don't like little women. I got that. I'm only 5'6", and he likes me. I'm his cape. That's it. I'm not going in with heights on nobody gives a shit. Um, okay, so now let's think about this. Um, we've got... Oh, okay, here's the other thing. And uh, the uh, HPV, the W-A-R... And then the T for timing problem that